Greetings from the Erie Coast, this is Mashad. Freya Vigi May Freya bless on this wonderful Friday. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. 75 degrees. Wind is a little heavy. We might get some rain. I've already been out, out and about. So is Charity. Uh, we've laid in the sun. We enjoyed the... Uh, sun on our skin on our face you know charity just likes to just lay grass a little wet but hey she's like ha. nice very nice right and she left out of there from about 90 degrees the sun's still bright it's a good day it's a really good day yes i get the day off i'm drinking beer and smoking cigarettes Those Americans are trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe's malicious slash incompetent machine. At least we forget 13 servicemen and women died at the gate, Kabul, Afghanistan, along with two and another poor souls, 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. A lot of them are service members as well. Every day, never forget. I never forget whose fault this is. But there was hope. There was always hope. Folks getting them out. Who, you ask? I'll tell you. Task Force, I'll go. Task Force, Pineapple Project, Exodus Project, Dynamo Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, just to name a few. Yeah. At least we forget the 200 plus people are still incarcerated. Because of the J6. Wrongfully accused. Wrong, uh, the, uh, the, the, the charges against them. You know, all federal stuff like conspiracy. Uh, you know, well, they didn't get you for anything. Uh, Rico acts and yeah, all kinds of stupid shit. Um, <laughs> when they themselves, the accusers, are participating in treason. That's right. Indeed, they are. But uh, all the way up. But every morning. It's 200 plus people seeing at the top. They make a phone call to their to their loved ones, and they sing the national anthem at the top of their lungs. All 200 of them, the whole prison. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. So, uh, meanwhile. Uh, it appears that more and more people in Maui yeah, they're getting help by the way you've heard about Maui, Maui they're getting help finally by people in jet skis and sailboats they have the area locked down the police, fire department, they, it's basically martial law. It might have been declared, I don't know. But they've got it locked down. No one can get in, no one can get out, especially reporters, especially aid workers of any type. Now, there are some people going in and out, and then, like I said, they're getting there by, by jet skis, by sailboat, you know, and, and, and starting a... Uh, food chain a help chain and yeah yeah it's true uh they're 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 coming for the land ancestral land a place where these people have long before us buried their dead had seats of power kings and queens lived there now it's all burnt to ash and up for sale up for grabs <laughs> outstanding doesn't see how that works Burn it all down and buy it. Declare it a state of emergency. And declare imminent domain. So, there's hope. There is hope. Folks are getting them out. Folks are getting them help.
you know, in history, uh, th that's what you would do. If you were, what, what insidious tribe would, uh, you know, start to burn people out just to get the land because that's all, it's, that's what it's all about. It's all about the land. Who's got the best land? Hmm. Well, let's burn them out. It's a tactic. It's a tactic. So, there's hope. There's always hope. Go Team Linda. Go Team Linda. She's kicking ass, taking names, uh, growing stronger by the day. Go Team Baby Harper. Uh, the little one is new to the world, and her challenges are right off the bat. Uh, and she is doing it. She is surviving. And, th and soon to th soon to thrive. So, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.